Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a hot minute. <laughs> I have been MIA for a couple of months and that is mainly because 2019 was a mess for not only me but everybody. <laughs> But yeah, hopefully I am back now, I'm back in the game, and I'm really excited to be creating some cool, cool videos for you guys in the future. So as the video says, this is my room makeover. Now, my room has looked the same for about a whole decade. I think the last time I actually did a whole redecorate of my room was when I was 12 years old and it definitely showed okay brace yourselves here it is peep the lava lamp i had these bright yellow walls and this really dark wood bulky furniture that just took up so much space in my room to the point where i could barely move around don't mind the pre stick and i just have look at this is so cringe this is so cringe. This makes me want to die. Ah, uh, this. This is the epitome of 13-year-old Sam. This is all the screamer bands that I used to listen to, and I just don't listen to them anymore. I loved you. I always will. But I need to get rid of you. You're ugly. You cramp the mustache. This box, because it's hollow inside, it attracts spiders, which I can't do. There is mold growing inside the mirror that I can't actually get to. So yeah, I just want to get a new mirror and I want to get a bigger one. And one that I can actually hang on my wall because this just takes up space too. Like my room is extremely old. Like look at this, look at this dream catcher. Like if that doesn't scream angsty teen, I don't know what does. I needed a change. And I just feel like now with me wanting to get more serious into youtube i needed a space where i could work and film and just have a creative space to call my own cue room makeover And can I just tell you, once I took all the bulky furniture out of my room, there was so much dust and spider webs and dead bugs everywhere. It was disgusting because obviously with all that bulky furniture, I couldn't clean anything properly in my bedroom. After that, my room looked so much bigger. I couldn't believe the amount of space I actually had to work with. Okay, so my goals for today is to first get some paint. That is like the main priority for today. First things first, seatbelt kids. That's very important. Uh, I don't want to drive with my phone on my dashboard because I live in South Africa. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> A few moments later. I went to the paint place. So I got not one, not two, not three but six paint samples. Look at this. Why am I so indecisive? So I just decided, you know what? I'm not even gonna try and look for any other kind of off-tone color. Straight up white, that's what I chose. Also got my door repainted, so it looks nice and clean now. So yeah, everything looks all white and clean. <laughs> I will not lie though, my, I did start to think that my room started looking a bit like an insane asylum. So I knew I needed to start getting furniture and decorations.
So here is my new dressing table. Sorry, I need to clean that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks. It looks really cool so far. Uh, we also opened up this box thing and now it's honestly just opened up the room a whole lot more. Obviously it needs some more DIY around the edges and a really good scrubbing and um, painting and then I can use it to put my dragon's cage there and I'm still deciding what to put here. Here is my bed and my old mattress because I did not feel like <laughs> buying a new one. And I'm really happy with the bed frame. It looks really cool. Then now it's just these two chest drawer sets. They're very dirty and against all the new furniture, they look disgusting. So I need to wash them, get them all clean and pretty, but I'm still figuring out where I wanna put them in my room. I think I'm going to put obviously one right by my bed so I can use it as a bedside table. But then I can't decide if I wanna put one over there or next to my dressing table over there. My mom got the chair that I wanted. His legs. This is the chair that I got. Please excuse all the wires in the background. But like this is like all suede it's so soft and it's just so comfy and once i got all my furniture in i also felt like i needed a space to put my bearded dragons i wanted them to have like their own little space because like there was constantly movement by them and then they, my dragons kept getting disturbed and then if anyone has owned a bearded dragon they are the most chilled pets but they do get startled quite easily and I just didn't want them to keep getting stressed out. So then I also just DIY'd with some plastic covering from builders and some leftover wooden skirting from my floors just so that I could make this box look a bit more neat and presentable just until I can actually get someone to come and remove the box entirely but for now I think this looks perfect and I can still use this space for my dragon's enclosure and they are so much happier there I also decided that I wanted to put up some shelves on my one wall just to make it look less barren and also just to add some of my own artworks and books that I'm reading. As well as the super cool glass skull liqueur holder that some of my best friends Ken and Zanil gave me. And I filled it up with some red liqueur just to make it look a bit scary. And then all that was left to do with my room was just decorate. So I got this adorable, adorable pink fluffy teddy bear plushy thing from Comic-Con from a bunch of people called Kitty, Kitty Fluffs, Kitty Fluffies, I think that's what their name is. I'll, I'll put a link down to the Instagram in the description. Just look at him. Look at him. He is so cute. And he is so soft. Did I make a purchase that I did not need to? Yes. This was 100% a compulsive buy. But he matches my chair. See? He matches my chair. And my pink fuzzy blanket. So I had to get him. I had to.
And that is the finished product. I am extremely happy with how my room turned out. It's now a space that I want to be in. It's a space that I can get inspiration from and I feel motivated to work. I hope that you all enjoy this video. I know that it seems so short in this time frame, but I promise you it took like three months just to get everything sorted and my room is still not where I want it to be, but it is exactly where I need it to be for the time being. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye guys!